with Jay McClelland on this side. We're underway at Richmond Park in front of the biggest crowd that's been here in, since March of last year. It just feels a little bit different to the defensive uh, players, so it'll be interesting how they get up on the game this evening. Here goes James Akintunde. Tries to find Junior on the far side, but it's straight to the feet of Paddy Barrett and finds Lewis, and a lovely touch by Chris Forrester. Those two have been combining well at every opportunity this season. And a slightly heavy touch by Maddie Smith, but he's going to chase it down anyway. And just moved off the ball by Kieran Harkin, who's known by the nickname Jackie. And worked that one out here. <laughs> Malone heads forward. Sam Bowen to Harkin, who knocks that forward with his thigh, actually. And that just about stays in. And a chance for Cochran in behind here. McLennan's long ball has turned possibly into a pass as well. Cochran takes it on his chest here. And he looks to uh, find Dara Burns in behind Burns. Very quick pair will chase this down and keep it in. As Kieran Cole gets across and Chris Forrester tries to do a, a little flick. But he's actually going it back. And here is Dara Burns. Back to Chris Forrester. Just trying to shoot here. Forrester with a good second with his right foot. He maybe could have hit it with his left foot. He's hit it with his right foot. And it bounces off a Derry defender. And out for the first corner of the game. Yeah, a little sloppy from Cockle there by Lennon. And the second ball does break for Dara Burns. Who's uh, making his third start tonight. His longest continuous run in the team. That's a, a heavy pass and it gives a chance for Junior. The first opportunity to have a run here at Sam Bone and Junior's put it through Sam Bone's legs. Big chance here for Derry City. And it's saved by Vitislav Yarov. Look to be straight at him. Good chance. Yeah, it's a big chance in fairness and it's a little bit sloppy. On that one. I didn't notice it myself actually, but anyway, here we go. Here's the free kick. It'll be taken by Lewis. Right footed. And it's a nice ball into the box and that's flicked away. I thought it was flicked away for a corner, but obviously not. Yeah, I don't, you don't see many Pats players giving out. It looked like Cole kind of headed around there, but... Um, they're going to be important to pick up those second balls match runners that nobody gets in behind because you know if you are going to lose the first header you want to make sure that you pick up the second ball Derry have worked it throw in short and eventually it finds its way to Harkin across to Owen Toll being encouraged to shoot and he has done right footed Owen Toll and he just dipped and Yaros does well to Good chance here. to grab it in a quick new join Derry from Finn Harris at the start of the 2019 season Oh, St. Pat's have won this back fence and does really well here's Maddie Smith if he can find the right pass here he's played it across to Dara Burns space to have a run because Lafferty was forward on the attack here's Dara Burns left footed he shot strikes here on call but he's picked up the second ball and crossed it in first time right footed this will drop to Smith on the edge of the box Maddie Smith right footed and an important block by Harkin but it's broken to Forrester now yeah. and it's 1-0 to St. Pat's and it's come in the 24th minute here at Richmond Park we weren't sure if the chance was gone after Derry tried to clear a couple of times it breaks to Chris Forrester and Gerard Bryan one of the best finishers in the league we've seen him training most weeks practicing at the end uh, great strike to put the Saints one up yeah really good and it's probably the first time in the game that Derry's probably taken the wrong option he's probably tried to have a goal a little bit Kieran Call is standing off I'm saying to himself come on Derek, get at him it's blocked he's done well though he's regrouped and, and, and I know Conan would have been having a little bit of go around before the game on his right foot he's managed to put the ball in you know to head her out blocked in but again I said it earlier on you want the ball to fall in the box of someone like Chris Forrest that's a fantastic finish but um, Dara Bourne's does that near space wherever it was did well anyway to head it away and that's a nice pass though by Paul across to Lafferty and that's a strong tackle by Robbie Benson and a chance here to 3v2 maybe a 4v2 for St. Pat's if Dara Burns can get a move on here but it's Benson in possession to the feet of Chris Forrester Go Burns Dara. races along Go the Dara. outside here's Burns Forrester's pass perfect weight and Burns with his right foot has uh, just missed the target there and uh, a good attack by St. Pat's that, that could have been more fantastic attack Robbie Benson is picking up that position sometimes here behind Benson and Lewis and it's the one that St. Pat's need to watch because if they can't get it to him he's then got two strikers to feed but it is it's just the game has just gone a little bit all over the place here's yeah. Billy King there's no flag great pass by Maddie Smith Billy King one on one with Nathan side, right footed I shouldn't have said one on one because Owen Toll got back very very quickly Jer and that is a chance missed for pass but great defending by Toll the Derry captain so he has some happy memories of playing against St. Pat's as the free kick is clipped into the back post by Malone Owen Toll is free here he's headed back across the box Owen Toll and whoever the Derry player was there there's a bunch of two or three of them and it's just flicked wide at the far post Owen Toll had so much space there and that is a good play though by Derry City and he's one touch passing football in their own half pitch at Richmond Park here in fantastic condition as always Anton Maguire and Dave Carter and the staff keeping it in great nick for the teams Pat's back in possession now though with Lennon who does have a good strike if he can get it onto his right foot instead he's found Lewis who one touch out to Burns bit of space here to get his touch and he does get have three it, four players in the box Burns has crossed it left foot and it's flicked over by Maddie Smith yeah another really good cross again 
really well well worked move come in on the inside taking it because it is Malone it's crossed the front post and it's broken in the box the ball is somewhere I'm not quite stuck. sure it seemed to be stuck between two players overhead oh. kick that was actually McJanet the centre back with an overhead kick he's already scored three times this season he, he won't want the same again this evening and they have to defend this corner with a man down so Gary might have an extra player somewhere as Malone whips that one in and it's Owen Tolls it gets there again and it's off the crossbar the frame of the goal the crossbar and the post Owen Tolls be the man they've aimed for in every single corner a really really good Oh, very the centre backs find themselves in really advanced positions at the moment. And again, another quick throw in. But that's oh, they've done well to keep that in. Actually, McLaughlin did well there. Gary players popping up everywhere at the moment. Lafferty, shoot James Akintunde. And again, he's met with a wall of St. Pat's players. And Derry haven't actually created a chance since St. Pat's went down to ten men. So from St. Pat's point of view, they'll be hoping that can keep up. But Will Fitzgerald is trying to change that. But he's forced back. And it's Harkins cross, but it's hit Robbie Benson. He's dropped to the edge of the box to Lafferty. He was a left footed player, Danny Lafferty. And he controlled the volley well because of a difficult skill, Jer, but just couldn't get it on target. Yeah, it's just one of them as a player with the ball. Something because St. Pat's have bodies in there, Jer. Exactly why Matty Smith was put into that position. Someone with a little bit more experience, someone that they understand the defensive side. You know, Patrick Ferry gets on it, wants to turn James the banquet inside, extra man there, Matty Smith, you know, closes off that danger. Here's Derry again on the attack. That's a nice pass inside. And it's dropped to McLaughlin, and he's just dragged that left footed. He's a confident player, Jerry, as you mentioned, not afraid to shoot, scored his first goal. We showed it in the, the pre match preview show. And, uh, and got to deal with this corner now again, Jamie. Yeah, it's going to be Will Fitzgerald to take it. There's now two minutes remaining here at Richmond. And that is just why it's Cameron McJanet with a left-footed volley. We spoke about his prowess on set pieces this season. There's been lots of focus on Owen's hold, Jerry.